like that once we get back to the mansion and start cooking. So stay tuned. In true cooking in the mansion style, we are in the middle of a parking lot. There's no one around us, not close anyway. So let's get started cooking, shall we? Alright, welcome back to the second episode of Cooking in the Mansion. We're back here in the mansion. I got all the prep work done and let me show you what we're having today. So I got some portobello mushrooms. Two of these big babies. And I like when I when I get these, when I do this type of meal that I'm about to do, I like to get one of them deep and then oh, one of them that is a little more flat. So maybe this way, yep, you can see. So these are actually going to be buns. These are gonna be my buns for, I got some beautiful, beautiful, I'm just gonna pull it up and show you. Some beautiful tuna. And I had them cut it. So this is tuna. I'm a huge fan of tuna, like this tuna. <laughs> so I had them cut it into three little slices. All right, so we got that. And then we also have an avocado. You know what those look like. And I have, I'm going to use the rest of my daikon radish sprouts. Baby arugula, baby arugula. And then over here, I cut up very, very thin, very thin tomato and yellow onion. Very, very thin. So um, first thing I'm going to do is season the tuna because I want the seasoning to just sit on there because that I'm cooking last. And what I'm, I'm just going to keep it simple. I'm using the blackened zatarans and smoked paprika. So let me season that. I'll just do that right now and we'll be right back. All right. So I have... The, the tuna all seasoned. Now, we're going to get this going. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, here we go. I'm going to toast my portobello mushrooms in ghee. Because I'm really looking at that as the bun. If you haven't figured out right now, we're having tuna burgers. On portobello mushrooms instead of bread so let me just put this disclaimer these first few episodes of cooking in the mansion are going to be like this you know not the greatest setup not the greatest lighting because like when i do these in the daytime i probably could close up my windows but i'm in california and when the sun is out it's warm and it'll it's too warm to be in here closed up <laughs> like that so that's that i'm not gonna put any salt or anything on my portobello mushrooms because i'm using a lot of flavor of everything for for the filling that's going in here so i'm just gonna put both of these in here if i can and they're they're yeah so i'm just gonna let those cook it's gonna be bomb Now the, the flat one, I did flip on the other side because it's flat and I just wanted to give the, the you know, the top side a rest. So I'm gonna take this one out, the flat one I'm taking out and I'm gonna flip it down. So I'm putting like the top of the bun side up because I don't want that to sit in steam. All right. So this one, because it's cupped, you know, it has a dip in it, I have to, I don't have to, but I'm choosing to like kind of press it against the side so the sides also get a little bit cooked or not cooked, but warm, a little heat to it. And this one is thicker also, so keep that in mind. 
All right, so I'm gonna let that cook a little bit longer when it's done and I move on to the next step. I'll come right back. All right, guys, so I took that out. Now I'm putting in this, uh, the daikon radish sprouts. Just dumping all that in there. And while that's in there, oh, before I put that in there, I've sprayed some grape seed oil in the pan. And with that, I'm also going to put in the baby arugula. And I'm keeping these dry as well. I'm not putting anything in here. Um, you absolutely can put in, I should have, you can put in a little bit of lemon juice if you'd like. That would be nice with it. Mm, this is smelling so good. I love the way arugula smells. All right. Yeah, this doesn't take long at all. Not at all. Let me put this here. All right, and the next, oh no. I lost that one. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is saute my onion. there and I, I think I'm going to my bad a little ghee in there just because I want a little more of the butter flavor on the inside because we got it on the bun but I want it on some of the inner parts so we have our bun aka our portobello mushroom right here and it is good and warm oh it smells so good okay so what i'm gonna do I, I want that to cool off a little more i was gonna start putting the stuff in there but can you see that can you see the steam coming from it yeah it's still steamy still steamy so I do want that to cool off a little more. So I want to I want to caramelize those a bit more. So I'm going to let those caramelize and we'll come right back. Smoke break. All right. There's a certain spot I do want my onions. Okay, so we'll just put those there for now. So now it's time to make the tuna. This is going to be very fast. So I got my tuna here. Both sides are seasoned. Um, I do want to spray the skillet again. You know, actually, yeah, 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 yeah. Make up your mind, Shalanda. Because it is a nice nonstick skillet, but I do want to. Just coat it. Okay, so now let's put our tuna. Now, when I seasoned the tuna, I did use heavy, heavy, heavy. I did, let's put it like this. I did one to three, the ratio. So I used three times the amount of smoked paprika as I did um, the Zatarans. And that's because I want more of the smoky flavor. And the Zatarans, the blackened Zatarans that I have, it does have salt in it and tuna. You know, it doesn't need a lot. And I didn't want it to end up being too salty. So that's why I just use a little bit of Zatarans. What you saw me do on camera, that's exactly what I did on the other side. So while that is cooking, which it won't be long, um, let me show you. All right, so you can see there that it doesn't take long. 
Now this was one slice of tuna and I have them put, cut it into threes for me. Slice it into threes. So this is the, the biggest piece right here. Look at that. Look at that. It does not take long. Tuna does not take long. OMG. Look at how beautiful that is. And like I said, if you do use salted seasonings, be careful when it comes to tuna because it does take on the flavor very strongly. So while this is finishing, let's prepare our mushroom. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is put my lettuce. First, let me, not lettuce. I said that because people eat lettuce on their burgers. This is sprouted daikon radish with baby arugula and i'm gonna fill everything on the flat side not the side with the dip but the smaller flat one so i'm putting everything on that yeah let's do it like that And I am going to put all of it on here because pretty much, you know, it's just the tuna. And tuna is light. It's not heavy. It doesn't sit in you heavy or anything like that. So, yes, I'm getting all of it. So, now I'm going to put my onions, my caramelized onions. So, that's that. And there's one other thing I didn't show you. Okay, so I just mushed this up inside. Just pressing it, mushing it up. Nothing like a good, pretty avocado. Okay, so what I'm doing is just slicing it up like that. I'm not doing it in slices. I'm just like mushing it up. So I'm just... Mmm. Mmm. That looks bomb. All right, so I put the avocado in the bigger side. And this is why I cut these thin because I wanted to use, I got a small tomato and I wanted to use the whole tomato. So I cut it very, very thin so it wouldn't be too much. Look at that. Look at that tuna. All right, guys. This is right. Let's taste it. Let's taste it. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Look at this. The layers. The layers. Okay. I got tuna. I got everything in this bite. Let's see. Mmm. Oh. That is really good. Really, really good. You got the smoked paprika that you'll taste. You'll taste all the different seasonings that's in the Zatarans very lightly, right? But you'll taste the arugula, the because arugula has its own flavor. You'll taste the daikon radish, the little bit of sweetness of the tomato. You'll taste the avocado. And that's what I like. I don't like my flavors being overpowered by salt. This is bomb. This is bomb. Everything is perfect. Mm, the avocado is really good. And mm, mm, just shut up, Sean. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. I'm okay, you guys. <laughs> mm. If anyone tries this recipe, let me know. I can't even call this a recipe. I don't even make recipes. But if anybody watches this and makes this, <laughs> y'all let me know. Because this right here is bomb. So I'm going to finish eating. But thank you so much for tuning in. If you are subscribed to my channel, um, thank you. 
it really gives me the energy to, to make these. And if you're new to my channel and you're not subscribed, thank you for watching and please consider subscribing. And for those of you that are over here from my Instagram, you know you got a special place in my heart. You already know that. Mm. That was arugula. <laughs> so thank you guys all for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the comments. Let me know how you like this. Let me know in the comments what you think about this particular day. See you on the next episode. This has been the Mercedes Mansion SUV Life and this particular series is called Cooking in the Mansion where we make, well I make and you watch me make phenomenal, unorthodox, creative meals in random parking lots. <laughs> so I'll see you guys on the next episode.